Hi, this is Karen Donovan with another episode of Tips, Trends, and Strategies designed to bring you relevant real estate information to help you in your life. Today, we're going to be talking about Do You DocuSign? But first, I'd like to call your attention to a couple of links on my site. The first link is for those of you who would like to get a free value instantly of what your home could be worth in today's market. The second link is for those of you who would like to find out about the latest steals and deals in the area that you're looking for a home in. And now, on to our video. And now let's talk about e-signing a document or docu-signing a document. Whether you're 18 or 80, there will be some point in your life where there will be a document that you'll be sent via email to sign. Now, a lot of people get freaked out by this, but it's really very simple. And I've met many realtors who don't use the program, but it's really a time saver. And if you're a home seller or a home buyer or plan to be sometime in your life, you'll definitely use this type of situation to help you to sign a document more quickly. So let's go to a little demo. This one is happens to be DocuSign, could be AuthentiSign or any other number of programs out there. And we're going to go here and sign a sample non-compete agreement, non-disclosure agreement. They ask you to fill in your information. So I put in my name and I forgot to capitalize my first name and last name, so that would be helpful. Okay, and then my email address, and that it's a document, and who I am. Now I'm going to get started. You're going to see just how easy this is. So now it says, please review and act on these documents. So I read everything over, and then I click continue. Now I can actually read through the whole document, and then if I agree with it, then I can go ahead and sign it at the bottom. So let me click Next to get started because I've read the agreement and I agree with everything. Now it says, it asked me for my name in here, and now it asked me to sign the document. I've chosen a signature that reflects how I think my signature should look electronically, but this is all official. And then once it's done, I just click finish. It's as simple as that. It's not complicated and it is a great time saver. So if you're ever asked to sign a document, now you know what it's all about, electronically signing a document. If you have any questions about real estate related matters that you'd like me to cover in my next video, please send me an email or a quick text and I'll be happy to get that information to you. Until next time, remember, make it a great day.